Hey guys, welcome back to Zoelle's World. So today we are continuing our Walt Disney World haul and I am showing you all of the ornaments and other collectibles that I got from the parks. So stay tuned. Hey guys, all right, so today I'm going to show you all of the ornaments and other collectibles that I got from the parks and from the character warehouse on our last Disney trip. So let's start with collectibles. The first one is this super duper cute princess picture frame that I got for Zoelle's bedroom. Clearly it doesn't have a picture in it yet, <laughs> but I will put a picture in it. And it does have a hook to hang it up or you can Sit it on a dresser as all of the princesses. It has Jasmine, Cinderella, Mulan, Belle, Snow White, Ariel, Rapunzel, Tiana, Pocahontas, and Aurora. And this was a steal for $9.99. Regular price was $24.99. So I definitely couldn't leave this in the character warehouse. Since this isn't really an on the boxing video i'm just going to save the dramatics nothing is in the packaging i took everything out before this video so that we could just get right to the goodies and look at this no this is not a gym shore but doesn't it look like one it's not a fake gym shore it's a disney showcase piece maybe uh I don't know what it is, but it's Ariel and Flounder, and look at that flower in her hair, and look at the details on this. This is gorgeous. Look at the bottom. There's her candelabra. There's Sebastian in like a little treasure chest. There's her tail. There's a little bottle here, and. There is no dingle hopper in this picture, but guess what else it does? Isn't that the cutest? I thought that was absolutely adorable. I got this from the Character Warehouse, $19.99. Wait, was it $19.99? I think it was $19, yeah. The original price was $55. It was either $19.99 or $17.99, but either way it goes, it was a very, very good deal. Next, I will show you the two Alex and Ani bracelets I got. I told you, this was like other collectibles. <laughs> so here's this one, and this is Snow White. Can you see that? Let's see, let me move these other two charms. You can see Snow White on there. This is a really, really pretty. Here we go. That's really pretty. I got this one for well and she doesn't really wear bracelets right now but she will and this one I got because I love Merida and look how pretty this is and you have Merida shooting her bow and arrow and I thought that was absolutely gorgeous so those were $14.99 I think I don't want to quote me on that but they were very, very inexpensive <laughs> at the character warehouse. Um, where do we go there? I, there's just so many things. Like, I don't know what to show you guys next. Okay, we're gonna get into ornaments. I think everything that's left are, oh, okay. Everything that's left are ornaments, but I'm just gonna show you this because it's sitting next to me and I haven't shown you guys this yet. I'm not that big into like snow globes, but this is the Up House Snow Globe and it is the cutest 
thing. Didn't get this from Disney though. Actually got it from Hot Topic with my Hot Topic cash. But it was sitting next to me. I'm showing you collectibles. So I just figured I'd toss it in. Um, plus, we're getting ready to go to Disney the day after tomorrow. So I'm filming this like before I go to Disney because my husband said I cannot get anything from Disney until I put away and organize the stuff from my last trip. The last trip was in February. It is now almost April. April 1st. It is now absolutely April and I have got to stop procrastinating with filming, get these videos out, and make sure I can get some things on the new trip. <laughs> so uh, that's it. Those are all the other collectibles. So now we're going straight into the ornaments. So the first couple are going to be from the character warehouse and then the rest are going to be from the Disney parks. This one, I just had to show you guys, because how cute is this ornament? It's a little forky, and it says Bonnie at the bottom. This was originally $22.99. I got the character warehouse for $2.99. Okay, so this is a super cool ornament. This one was from the character warehouse as well, and it is from the 20. 20 Mickey's not so scary Halloween party that never actually happened. And look what it does. I don't know if it's going to pick up. Did you see that? Off? On. So the tower lights up and the towers are all looking like eyes, right? And they turn the light on. So that's so cool. And it's like all glittery at the tops. And it's Mickey. And this is the back. Okay, not all of the towers have eyes. Just the tallest one has the eyes. It's kind of creepy. But this was at the Character Warehouse for $2.99. Yes, $2.99. So, that's it for my Character Warehouse ornaments. They had some other ornaments, but I didn't really want any. So these are, the last few things, are the things that we got from the park. So while we were at the park, the park was running a special on ornaments where if you bought three, you would get, I don't know if it was three or more, or at least three, something. If you got three, you got the ornaments for $20 each. Now these ornaments all range from $22.99 to $24.99. So you got them all for $20 each. And this was at the time that they had the 30% off password discount. So I had six ornaments to take advantage of the $20 each. So I think you did have to buy three. So we bought increments of three. This one was $24.99. This is Zoelle's ornament. She picked this one out all by herself. And this is the one that she wanted. And it is from Frozen 2. It's Anna and Olaf. They're in the boat scene. They're doing the little pinky promise. They're in the little glass boat. Glass boat. The ice boat that Elsa made. And they are on their little journey. She loves Frozen. And so I let her pick out her own ornament. And that's what she decided to get. So the next one is so cute. You guys know how much I love Toy Story. So I got this one because I just couldn't resist. It is the Toy Story Aliens and it has Slinky Dog. It says Toy Story on it. It's basically the pod from Alien Swirling Saucers, the ride. And I just think this is so cute. So this is gonna be so fun on our Disney tree. And like Slink is totally 3D and like his Slinky is like, so I love that. I'm like <laughs> trying to figure out like, what do I show next? <laughs> Which order do I do this in? So the next one I'm gonna show you guys, this one, I need to get a little bit closer because she is so pretty. You know, Merida is one of my favorite princesses. The reason I love her so much is I just feel like I love her spirit. I love the fight. You know, it's really easy to fight for other people, 
But I feel like Merida had to fight for herself. She had to fight for something that she believed in that really applied to her in her life. And that's a lot harder for us to do. Like, I don't think people give her enough credit for that because it's not easy sticking up for yourself. Like, it's very easy to stick up for somebody else, right? We find that we can do that with ease. But when it's time to speak up for ourselves, we, it's really hard. And she did that. I mean, she did it in a crazy way by turning her mom to a bear. But <laughs> look at this ornament, though. She is gorgeous. The detail on this. Look at her hair, her dress, the sparklies. It is ruffled. You see the ruffles. I love her little belt here with the with the plaid scarf. She has her um, arrow, her bow, her bow and arrow, and that's like a little 3D effect. I just think this is a beautiful, beautiful ornament and a beautiful rendition of Merida. So I was really, really happy to get that one. Now the next one. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. Now, if you guys watched our live tonight, well, I'm saying tonight, but this was the live on April 1st from Mama Mouse Club, and I'll link that for you here. We gave away the Beast and Bell ornament in our giveaway, and it was the music box ornament. I was in the ornament store at Magic Kingdom for a good 15 minutes struggling between that ornament and the one that I ultimately decided on. And the ornament of that we gave away, that was in the giveaway, was beautiful. It had, you know, the library scene, it had Belle, it played the song. But ultimately, I thought this was the prettier ornament. And I could not stop looking at it. And look at Beast and Belle, the details on your face. They're absolutely stunning. Look at her dress. Look at the detail on her dress. This ornament is gorgeous. Like, yeah, it doesn't mean this doesn't sing the song. I should have gotten a boat probably, but I only wanted to get six, and I really, really just like this one. Like, I just thought the yellow was stunning. Her dress is stunning. Their faces. And I focus on the faces because I don't know if you guys actually look at some of the things, like the figures and figurines and things, but sometimes the faces are a little warped, like really weird looking. And I just thought she was so pretty. Like, look at her face here. And you can like see how Beast is actually looking at, like the detail that went into this ornament where it looks like Beast is actually looking at Belle, like, it was just, it was too much. Like I couldn't leave it. I couldn't leave it. So I had to get that one. So I have two more. The next one I'm going to show you, and I think I may be taking this one back and trying to re um, return it because it got a little damaged. But you guys know how I feel about Bo Peep. She is my girl and this ornament is everything. It is Bo Peep with her staff. And if you guys remember from Toy Story, Bo Peep actually started out as a lamp. And this is the lamp that she was on. And there are her sheep, who's one of their little heads is right here in my hand. But the cool thing about this ornament is it's it's a light so it actually lights up oh okay <laughs> it's like um does it really yes it does i was just pressing the button wrong uh that would have been embarrassing if like i told you guys it lit up and then it didn't so I don't know if you guys can see because of all the bright lights. There you go, it's off and now it's on. So I thought this ornament was absolutely beautiful. Um, I am going back to Disney, so I'm going to take it back to see. I may could probably just glue the head back on, but I want an ornament that's not broken. 
Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can exchange it for another one first. And then if I can't, then I'll try to glue the head back on. And last but not least, dun -dun 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 -dun, I absolutely had to have this ornament. It is so beautiful. And it is Joe Gardner from Seoul at his piano. And look at the detail on this ornament. Like, there's like music notes on his sheet. The piano keys are there. You have this coffee mug here. Here's the cat. And then you just have like, you know, when you just stack, he has books up there. Just stuff that you just stack on top of a piano. Like, I guess you shouldn't stack it on top of a piano. But yeah, so there's some paper, some sheet music, I'm guessing. And then the back. Oh my gosh, I think this ornament, these ornaments from Disney are worth every penny. I mean, look on the platform where he's sitting. You have the bench and then there's like stuff on the floor. You know, artists, they throw balls of mute sheet music, probably trying to write a song. It was like, okay, not really feeling that one toss it to the wind and there's more books there I just thought this was absolutely beautiful and and look at what it does the bell that played music but I did get the soul Joe Gardner ornament that played music and that's it guys that is my ornament haul I hope you guys enjoyed if you did give this video a big thumbs up and tell me in the comments below what was your favorite ornament do you collect Disney ornaments what is your favorite Disney ornament um what else do I have to say don't forget to subscribe and remember this is the Wells world I just live in it. Bye!